Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to this video on the Fonts Hill Writing Scholarship that we have here at the College of Mount St. Vincent. I am welcomed by my colleague Tyler Margolis, the Premier Program Liaison, along with Dr. Anthony Lee, the Associate Professor of English, and also the Director of the Fonts Hill Writing Scholarship, and also the Advisor of the Literary Magazine. For our participants who are here live, this is your chance to learn more about the English Department along with our scholarship. Ask any questions you may like towards the middle, towards the beginning, or the end, in the question and answer feature that we have at the button. Myself and Tyler will drop any helpful links that we can in the chat feature, so feel free to look at that uh, during and after the presentation. And if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to play, pause whenever you can, and get all the information you may need. And without further ado, I'll get started, and I'll pass it off to Tyler for some admission requirements, and then off to Dr. Antti Lee for more information on the Fonto Writing Program. Thank you, Drew. And uh, just for anyone that missed out, you know, my name is Tyler Margolis. I'm the system director uh, for admission at the College of Mount St. Vincent. Uh, I'm also responsible for recruiting the territories of uh, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, uh, Virginia, and Staten Island. Um, so, you know, if you're from those territories and you have any admissions questions, feel, please uh, do not hesitate to reach out. Um, and as Drew mentioned, I'm also the director, or excuse me, the liaison of um, all our premier programs here. Uh, you may have attended some of our previous premier program webinars over the last few weeks, uh, so I may be a familiar face for some of you guys. Um, and, you know, any questions that anyone has in terms of premier programs, please, please, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, before I pass it off to Dr. Lee, and, and we'll talk a little bit more about the scholarship um, and the writing community at the College of Mount St. Vincent, I just wanted to go over some um, admissions uh, requirements uh, for uh, the Font Hill Writing Award. What is the Font Hill Writing Award? Uh, the Font Hill Writing Award is a four-year uh, full room and board scholarship um, offered to students with exemplary writing skills and who further wish to continue their writing career um, at the College of Mount St. Vincent. Four of these scholarships are awarded uh, each year for the incoming freshman class. The typical academic profile of a Font Hill recipient um, is he around an 88 GPA or around a 3.3 uh, or 3.4 if you're using the 4.0 scale? On average, students have around a 1150 or higher SAT, but as I'm sure that uh, all of you are well aware, we are test optional. So you are not required to send in your SAT um, to be a recipient of this award. Uh, if you'd like to send in your SAT, you're more than welcome to, um, but it is not a requirement. And on that note as well, obviously, uh, in order to be considered for a writing award, uh, strong English in, in writing performances um, is a very you know, large criteria uh, of being a recipient. So um, that's the typical, typical academic profile. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, it is a four-year uh, uh, room and board scholarship. In order to maintain this scholarship throughout the program, you will need to maintain a 3.0 GPA. Uh, while you are uh, a student and you must be an active participant in the writing community on campus. One thing that is a part of the uh, college or the Font Hill Writing Program um, scholarship is in order to be uh, considered for the award, you must submit an eight to 10 page writing sample uh, prior to Premier Program Day. Uh, so just to walk you through some of the logistics of the actual Font Hill application itself, in order to be considered for the Font Hill Award, you can select on your common application under the special programs tab. Uh, you can select the Font Hill Writing Award. After that, we will review your application and we'll review obviously your transcript, your GPA, your college essay. And if we think that you meet the requirements um, in the profile of a Font Hill recipient, then we will, uh, we will send you a notification with your acceptance package, notifying you of your nomination to the Font Hill Award. After that, if you are nominated for Font Hill, you will be required to submit that eight to 10 page writing sample um, to us. It will be reviewed by Dr. Uh, Dr. Anthony Lee and the English department. And then after that, you will um, be required to attend Premier Program Day, which is occurring on March 7th of 2021. So like I said, if anyone has any questions on, on any of that, feel free to drop uh, those questions in the chat and you know, we can answer them towards the, the end. But without further ado, you know, I'm gonna pass it uh, off to the uh, director of the Font Hill program, Dr. Anthony Lee. I'm Anthony Lee. I'm the chair of the English department actually. Uh, I teach literature and creative writing 
And as Drew mentioned, I direct the Fontel Scholarship, and I'm also uh, the advisor, the faculty advisor for the Campus Literary Magazine, which is called The Underground. And I think the pitch for this a scholarship is pretty simple. If you love to write, if you like to write, if it's something that you find yourself doing naturally, if it's something that you have been rewarded for already, if you have been complimented on your writing, if it's something you have a knack for, I think that you should give serious consideration uh, to applying for the Fontel Scholarship. And the reason is this, it is generous. It is four years of room and board. And the application itself is relatively straightforward. It's probably something that you already have available to you. Uh, it is a writing sample. Uh, Tyler already said, eight to 10 pages. Uh, I will tell you that previous winners have submitted fiction, short stories that they've written. They have submitted essays. They have submitted research papers that they've written. They've also submitted poetry. Uh, we have considered all of these things. And as I've said, uh, students that have submitted across all of these genres have won. Good writing is good writing. And uh, we know it when we see it. Having said that, uh, I think that you should also know that the major that you are perhaps thinking of joining uh, come September uh, does not have any impact on your chances of winning the scholarship. We have had winners who are from, we have one from biology, uh, we've had winners from psychology, from communication, uh, philosophy, ultimately, and uh, obviously uh, from English. So please keep that in mind. Uh, this is a writing scholarship. This is about you and the written word. And that's what the scholarship is given for. It doesn't matter uh, what it is you write about or what it is that you intend to major in. The other thing I think to keep in mind is that on campus, and this is connected in part to the scholarship, is that there is a rich, I would say writing community. Um, we have uh, the, liter the literary magazine, which I already mentioned. Um, we have a newspaper that we are intending to put online. Uh, it was a paper, newspaper, it's called Amount Times, and the next plan is to put it online, uh, which is exciting and forward thinking and very contemporary, of course. There's Mount Media, uh, which is also new and important. And we also have the uh, Spoken Word Poetry Club, and we have a poetry reading series. We have the Mount Players, which is a theater group. And we also have our student faculty productions of published plays. And last year, uh, we actually used uh, plays by a professor, very short one-act plays by a professor, and we put those on. And it was a, a great production, three short plays by one professor, and they were performed by students and professors alike. So there is a there is a rich and active artistic community on campus. That's something to be aware of. And uh, Fonto winners often find themselves joining one of those communities or more than one of those communities. So again, uh, like I said, the pitch is simple. If you like to write, if you'd love to write, uh, I would apply. We would love to read your application. Dr. Anthony Lee, in, in your experience working within the scholarship and within your department, uh, what have been some examples of some writing material that you've gotten through the application process that have stood out to you in a sense? We have gotten, I, honestly, true. I mean, the, the, uh, the variety is remarkable. You can see that there were assignments in English classes. Sometimes it's very clear. Um, one was a movie review. It was, you know, it was just a, an analysis of a film, but it was somewhere between a movie review and analysis. But it was remarkable. It was actually a review of a Quentin Tarantino film. Um, and uh, I, it, was, it was great. We had... Uh, articles that were written for the high school newspaper. And so uh, some, uh, one of the, uh, two of the recipients in the past were reporters for their high school newspaper. And they essentially just, it's this old fashioned idea. They sent us their clippings. They just sent us what they had written. Um, and it was great. But then also obviously short stories. Um, uh, two years ago, we had a winner who sent a very, very long short story. She went, I probably shouldn't say this, but she went beyond <laughs> the page requirement. The story was about 25 pages long and it was great. It was great. And it was the only thing that she sent. And like I said, we've had cycles of poetry. We've had people that have included a dozen poems, 20 poems. Uh, we've had uh, short screenplays, which I thought was marvelous. That was only one time, but I would love to see it again. Um, we had someone who sent a screenplay for a short film. And uh, we've also had research papers. We've had just old fashioned high school research papers and all of those, the writing was just so good and just stood out that the committee said, absolutely, this person belongs here. They're gonna to contribute to the college. We would love to have them. Just to add to that, I think another caveat for anyone here, um, 
you know, that's filling up your college application as well. You know, one thing that we obviously look very closely on is, is the actual personal essay for your application. So I know this isn't, you know, this is a little separate from the actual writing sample, but I think there, there are correlating themes for both the personal essay on your common application and the writing sample that you would submit for the Fonho Award. And as, you know, Dr. Lee was, was uh, uh, saying, you know, it's really important to be unique, creative. There's not a, you know, specific outline of what, you know, and what this, these eight to 10 pages really have to look like. Uh, make it unique, make it, you know, make it a piece of work that illustrates who you are as a writer. I think that, you know, just in, in any, in any sort of field, in any sort of industry, I think that's, you know, that's a very important thing, but, you know, when you're applying for an actual writing and English uh, focused scholarship, uh, you know, multiply that, you know, multiply that tenfold. So uh, I just wanted to, to further add to Dr. Lee's points. With the writing sample for the Fonto, it's always a good idea to include a kind of, uh, a little portrait of yourself as a writer on why you write uh, and who you are on the page for a bad idea. Absolutely. Thank you, Tyler. And thank you, Dr. Lee, for that. Well, Dr. Lee, uh, being the advisor of the Campus Literary Magazine, um, how has the experience been for you to work with students who have come in, earned this scholarship, and continue to show their passion for writing on campus? It's inspiring. You, you, your question is dead on. I mean, that really, that's what it's about, right? I mean, I'm the advisor to the magazine, but the magazine is theirs. It is a student-run, student-inspired. The magazine actually began uh, because of a series of lectures that I had done on a book called Notes from Underground, and two students began the magazine. It's called The Underground, and it was because of this. Uh, it, was, it was inspired by other literature, and the magazine got off the ground, and uh, we have uh, submissions that come from the campus itself, uh, but also we have, uh, we now spread out, we, we get submissions from about 50 different colleges across the country. And we've also gotten uh, submissions from colleges in other countries. Uh, and our students run that magazine and they run it smoothly and they run it professionally. And every year we put out two issues of this beautiful publication. Uh, and so I get to help in whatever way I can. I always try to keep something of a distance to let them do what it is that they want to do with each issue. But I do, of course, in part, get to share in the experience of seeing this remarkable piece of work get published twice a year. And I'm thrilled for them. I'm thrilled for them. And I will say this. Uh, a student of ours who was the editor, uh, he went to apply to graduate school, and he actually brought physical copies of the magazine with him. And he, you know, like in his pocket, so to speak, he took out the magazine and he said, I did this. And they were very <laughs> impressed, as they should have been. Uh, so it's a, it's a great achievement. It's a nice little artifact to have. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Dr. Lee. For Tyler, talking about that premier program day being March 7th, 2021, if you could talk a little bit more in depth of what that day looks like, specifically the interview process for the Fonto Writing Scholarship, what does that look like? Absolutely. And, you know, I'll just go through the process one more time because I just want to be very clear and concise and I don't want to cause any confusion. The way the application process works is the process of filling out your common application or your CMSV app. Uh, there is a question on that application that asks you, are you interested in any special programs? Underneath that tab, there is an option to click on the Font Hill Writing Award. You click on that tab. After you submit your application, uh, the admissions committee will review, will review it. We will um, obviously look at your uh, transcript. We will look at your personal essay. And at that point, we will make a, de uh, a determination if you are eligible to a nomination um, for the Font Hill Writing Award. Um, after that, we will send uh, you a notification with your acceptance package, uh, notifying you uh, whether or not you nominated for the Font Hill Writing Award. In that nomination, uh, receive a link to the actual Font Hill application itself, um, where you'll obviously put in some, some of your personal information, uh, and you'll also include uh, your 8 to 10 page writing sample as well. So after that's completed, uh, as we mentioned, you'll be required to uh, attend uh, something called Premier Program Day on March 7th, where you will come onto campus and you'll actually interview with Dr. Lee. I'm not sure, maybe a few members of, of the English department. I think it, it may depend. Um, and really, you know, while, you know, doc, Dr. Lee uh, stressed the importance of getting to know who you are as a writer on the page, uh, this is a great way to actually get to know who you are as, as a person and your ambitions and your in your goals, uh, particularly, you know, in regards to writing. So it's a great way to go on campus, you know, 
be more familiar with the writing community and the English department. Also a great way to uh, meet with other, you know, Font Hill scholars, other premier program scholars as well, because, you know, our premier programs are designed for the best, the best students uh, that are incoming to our class. Uh, you'll be interacting with other uh, premier program students and students you'll be probably taking a lot of classes with as well. And, you know, it's just a great opportunity to get further acclimated to, uh, you know, the CMSV community. You know, we're, we're a very tight, small knit community, but uh, really passionate and, you know, we, 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 we're really, you know, ha- happy where, where, where with we are and, and, and what we're, con- you know, continuing to grow here. So that's pretty much, you know, the main purpose of you know, Premier Program Day. Uh, one other caveat I want to note is, you know, I was talking about that eight to 10 page writing sample and actually filling out the application for Font Hill. Um, if you've been nominated, uh, those materials in that eight to 10 page essay or excuse me, eight to 10 page writing sample will need to be submitted by February 15th, about uh, two to three weeks before Premier Program Day. So I uh, just want to make sure that everyone has that on their calendar as well. Thank you, Tyler. And now passing it off to Dr. Anthony Lee and rounding up this conversation. Do you have any tips or advice for students looking to apply into this scholarship and also succeeding on that interview and leaving a lasting impression? What, what does that look like for you? I think that Tyler, in effect, has already said it. And that is, I think few, few things give us the opportunity to show who we really are. Like our right the submission itself. Uh, like I said, it can be a research paper, but even the research paper, what you choose to research can reveal something about you and your analysis reveals something about you. Obviously, poetry itself is designed to go very deep. Your writing reveals who you are. And as Tyler has stressed, I think that you should take this, uh, the application as an opportunity to show who you are. And then he said it, when you come to the interview, it's just a furtherance of that same idea. Who are you as a writer? Who are you as a thinker? Who are you as a person? What are your uh, what are your goals? What are your aspirations? We love to hear those things. We're happy to have you. You know that's that's the idea. I mean, you're you're on your way in here, and we know that you're going to participate in this community and make this college this that we already love. You're going to make this college even better. And that's your opportunity. The interview and the and the writing center. Thank you so much for that, and Dr. Anthony Lee. Uh, what's your contact information if any students have any questions? Anthony dot Lee at Mount St. Vincent, E-D-U. Very simple, very straightforward. L-E-E is the last name, Anthony Dotley. Tyler dot Margolis at Mount St. Vincent dot E-D-U. For any viewers who are watching this on YouTube, on, on replay, feel free to follow the links in the description to either apply to the College of Mount St. Vincent, Fire Your FAFSA, or much more. Uh, this has been another virtual webinar series with the admissions department, along with the English department as well. And we look forward to hopefully seeing you on campus very, very soon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.